never wondered what was on the other side Just listen for the wind to hum the lullabies No hope of slumber, everyone's afraid to shut their eyes In morning when the sun arises, then the dead will come alive Alright guys, Long Couch here, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space, Chapter 6, Environmental Hazard. Imagine we're gonna get... Oh, we're not actually gonna get a pop-up conversation at the start of this chapter, but we do have an audio log here, so let's check it out. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close to maximum capacity at the present time. All flora is healthy and thriving, and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony, but the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there, and I don't see what denying them our surplus will achieve. Opposition noted. Thank you for that. Hey guys, did you know that everyone wants Peng? Everybody across the board wants Peng, guys. Uh, that's because in this universe, Peng is actually a slang word for penis. That's not true, I just made that up. Hey, let's get going! I know I say this in like every single chapter, guys, but this is a pretty good chapter. It turns out that pretty much this whole game is awesome. Uh, it's a lot longer than the last one. And I may actually end up getting lost in this chapter, so look forward to that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Even though I generally know what to expect in this game, it still creeps the hell out of me every single time I play it. I just... I can't do anything about it. Don't like it. I'm gonna roll with the line gun for right now. I mentioned that I wanted to get this thing upgraded, and that is still true. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna have the chance, though. Holy fuck, my dick! Watering cycle initiated. Okay, that's a great start. I definitely didn't just freak out from having the water turn on right here. Watering the tomatoes, guys! Because we're on the hydroponics lab. The, the hydroponics floor, I guess we should say. So... Oh, hey, look! Peter Mensa, how's it going, bro? Isaac. Good to see you in one piece. Don't take your helmet off. The head's rotten. itself in food storage. Crew that was on this deck. I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. The poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Hammond! I thought you were dead. You need to get to cleaner air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right, there's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. Right. Okay. So, he saw something big. Something very dangerous looking. Pretty certain we're gonna have to fight that in this chapter. Not really a spoiler, you can kind of intuit that. <laughs> and also, we've got to kill some transformed crew members to clean the air. Guys, I don't know where his projection was coming from, because... One of the great things about the UI in this game is that, like, everything makes sense in the context of this universe. When I get a video call like that, it projects from that little terminal that's hanging off my chest right now. Uh, Hammond here doesn't have one of those, so I don't know where his little projection came from. Just a little funny thing I thought I'd mention. Okay, so we've got... That's the door to food storage, but I can't override the integrity lockdown. You have to destroy the pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on the Leviathan. Okay, so clean the air first and then kill the Leviathan. Right, 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 right. We've got a little uh, air purity level meter here, which is telling us that things are still pretty fucked right now. And I was really hoping there'd be a store around here. There it is. I was gonna say, there should be one around here. Because I think I am going to go ahead and pick up... 
the force gun for this chapter, guys. I think I'm going to want it in one or two spots. And uh, I'm not sure what else I need to bother with. Oh, let's drop off the schematic. If nothing else. We got the schematic for contact energy, which is probably never going to come into play for me. But I'm sitting pretty right now. I've got 28,000 creds and four nodes, and the force gun is 11,000. Not cheap, but worth the investments, in my opinion. So now I'm fully loaded up with all the weapons that I actually care to use in this game. And I'll show you guys how that works when the time comes. I think I will go ahead and store that plasma energy. Probably like both of these stacks of ripper blades. I don't need more than one, I don't think. Line racks, I think I'll hold on to. I think I'm going to want those for certain parts of this chapter. And then I've got two media med packs. That's pretty good for now. And since I don't think I'm going to need to spend money on anything else for a little bit, I'm going to buy myself one more power node. All right. Now, if I could find an upgrade bench, that would be super. All right, looks like we went ahead in this direction first. I wasn't kidding, guys. This is a this is a big, somewhat confusing chapter, if I remember right. I suppose I should be glad that Ham's alive, but I still don't trust him. I think he's hiding something about the marker. Oh shit! I love how she says, "I suppose I should be happy that he's alive." Like, I guess. <laughs> What a bitch. Um, let's see. So we gotta avoid this... What is this, steam? Some kind of corrosive chemical agent shooting out here. Should be easy. It's pretty slow. Pretty slow. Is there seriously nothing in here? I don't understand why they would bother to put lockboxes in a room like this, but then keep them locked. Like, why even have them there? Just to taunt me? I don't know. Maybe it's different on different difficulties. That's the only thing I could think of. Alright, door number two. Hey, here we go. Upgrade bench. Awesome. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay. So there's a lot that I want to upgrade right now, guys. Um, specifically, I want to at least get... Ooh, I can get... And uh, I'd have to spend four nodes to get two damage upgrades for the line gun. I want to get at least one. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then we do need to give a little bit more love to our plasma cutter. Our tried and true plasma cutter. Um, hmm, looks like the most I can get out of this is... Capacity and damage. The good news is if I grab this damage upgrade, then that'll that'll actually max out the damage on this guy. I think that's a fantastic plan. Is this the route I want to go? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we'll keep one node in storage because I believe there is one node door in this chapter. So I want to keep it on me. And, um, now we just have to listen for when this is clear to go out of here. I'm not sure. There's one. There's two. That's the third one. Okay. And run for it. Ooh, stuff. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Shit, where do I go from here? Oh, here we go. Another elevator. I think this is one of the reasons this chapter is so confusing from a spatial perspective, is because there's so many elevators in it. <laughs> Shit. No. No thank you. <laughs> one shot, guys. One shot from the line rack made this dude my bitch. Assuming he's not just playing possum. I can't get his body. I can't get his body. There we go. If you can pick up the bodies with Kinesis, you know they're dead for real. <laughs> ah! 
Excellent. West Grow Chamber. Oh, shit. Did you guys hear that laughter? It was very, very low volume, but it was there. Okay. So, um... Let's see here. Yeah, I've got the force gun on down on the D-pad now. I think I'm going to want it in this room. You guys will get to see how this works. Is that laughter or... Ah, shit! Baby! Baby! Okay. Okay. I think I'm... Yep. I was going to say, I think they're coming from over there, too. Oh, he caught me. You little fucker. Fuck, they're quick. You get in a good spot. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, force gun. Force gun. Hold up, hold up. Oh, you son of a bitch. He came right out the bed right next to me. Back to this corner. Ah. Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Alright, we're good, we're good. Finish him off. Really? Another one? Huh. Okay, now I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, so that's a bit of an ambush right there, guys. And, um... The way I use the force gun right there is pretty much like the quintessential use of it. It's your crowd control. It's your shotgun. They call it a force gun. But honestly, it, uh, it, it's basically a shotgun, except instead of using, like, actual bullets or shrapnel, it's like a concussive blast. But it, functionally, it works the same way. And it's really, really handy for stuff like that. When you've got a whole bunch of dudes coming at you, you can just kind of get them bunched up. And then, like, you know, pull out the line gun and cut a swath right through all of them. The way I just did. Pretty awesome stuff. There's some explosive containers over here, which I may need to make use of at some points. We can hear something going on in here. Something that sounds very, very disturbing. Ah, here we go. Transformed crew members. Sorry, bro. But you guys to go. Got him. Right. So, these dudes are going to be placed all around this level. And uh, they're the things contaminating the air. So, we got to find them and kill them. It sucks that we can't save them. They are former crew members, but as you can see, they're pretty fucked up. Their existence is pretty much done. We just need to kill them. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So here's the other good use of the force gun, guys. Because it's a concussive blast and not like a piercing shot, it's really great for these dudes. Check that out. Come on now. Anytime you want to die, sir. There we go. Wow, so that took more ammo than I remembered it taking. But it is a very, very safe way of taking these dudes out because you won't pierce them, and that means that they won't spill the contents of their stomach. Just one of the reasons I really, really like the force gun. Okay, where do we need to go now? Let's see. Let's see. Back in here. Yeah, and these dudes contaminate the air in every spot they're in. 
So you, you are kind of on a time limit, but that's not usually a problem. Dead. Now, is this the spot? No, I guess not. I was kind of expecting an ambush. Something's close by. I don't know where it is. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> A bitch. He took so long to come out. Oop. Still somebody close. Okay, I think they're back outside. Oh. Stupid baby. Noise. Scaring the shit out of me. Don't appreciate it. That's the other thing that's crazy about this level, guys, is enemies just... kind of feel like they pop up out of nowhere all the time. Like, it's hard to remember, like, what comes when and what to expect, because there's just... there's just shit everywhere. What do we have here? Replacing nutrient bed. All right. Forgot about those things. Right, there's a big health pack chilling right there. So we want to make sure we grab that. And I think that's the only thing we need to mess with this spot for, but those will come into play a little later. Oh, uh, let's see. Where are we going first? Let's go to level two. Warning. Toxics detected in atmosphere processing. A repair technician has been notified. Great. We've notified the repair technician, who is almost certainly a necromorph now. Can you guys imagine a necromorph showing up in, like, his repair tech outfit? Just like, I heard you're having a problem here. Pretty fucked up, man. Okay, that's where we want to go. Let's check out this side first. This is... to Refrigeration West. Uh-huh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, these things! Okay. Right, so... I forgot that they showed up this early in this chapter. But these guys basically have a big glowing thing attached to them, and we need to shoot it to blow them up. Otherwise, they will suicide on us. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Whew. This is actually another good use of the force gun, guys. If you're having trouble hitting the glowing spot on these dudes before they come and suicide on you, you can just kind of give them a little push away with the force gun. Just a little back off so that you don't blow up on my face. Always a good thing. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Um, we might be sequence breaking a little bit here, but I don't think it's a problem. Let's take care of this area while we're here, guys. Looting all the day. Force energy. How much force energy do I have right now? Got 12 shots. Okay. And... Yeah, doing pretty good on most things, actually. I'm gonna have to run back to the store at some point. Entering zero gravity. So, another zero grav room. These are always fun. <laughs> they really are. Even though they can be difficult or intense. 
I quite enjoy going through them, honestly. I think the whole point of being here is just to go find a couple of these... These poisonous, air-spewing dickheads. And I think we're gonna get a text as soon as I open this. Hello. Hey, baby. Settle down. Ah, there's another one! Oh, he hit me. I thought I'd avoid him with that dodge. Where is he? Okay, I think we're safe now. How much damage did he do? Not a ton. I've actually taken a couple licks in this this chapter so far, guys, but we're holding strong. That's because we got that extra armor. Which is real nice. So I'm not too worried just yet. Alright, let's jump through the door we opened. Uh, I guess there's not enough room for me to squeeze through. Alright. There are gonna be knobs about it. There we go. Very, very easy to get discombobulated. Let's see. I guess next we're just gonna pop over here. Listen to the way the music changes in these zones, guys. It's so intense. It doesn't help that there's frickin' spikes on half these surfaces for no good reason. Why would there be spikes? It's like, hey, we're gonna make these walls right here super duper dangerous for anybody trying to get around in fucking zero G. Mmm. Bastard interrupted me. That's what bad babies get. They get blown up by exploding gas canisters in outer space. That's the way punishment works. Or at least it would in Long Couch's world. <sighs> Alright. That was the only one. I guess he didn't drop anything. If he did, I don't know where the hell it went. <laughs> Let's see. How do I get over there? Yeah, I didn't think that was the kind of surface it was going to let me jump to. What if I come to this surface? Turn around and look in. Where the hell did that opening go? I am confusing myself so bad right now, guys. Oh, it's right above me, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh... I feel like that should work. Actually, I think we can jump right here and then walk in like this. There we go. That's what we need to do. Alright, and this is going to bring me out into... Air filtration... Room. Warning, extreme heat in this place, guys. Got it. Don't walk into the fire. <laughs> Good to know. Hello? Hello, security? Thank God. This is Dr. Croft, Hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Temple. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Hello? Hello? That sucks for that, lady. 
All right, moving down. We're going to have to dodge some fire here, guys. Ooh. Look at all the explodey bits. It gives me a hard on just looking at it. Stasis recharge, but we're actually good on stasis, so. Um, all right. I don't want to risk blowing myself up with those, so. Actually, can I just punch this thing? Nice. Okay, okay. Hello. So guys, in case you couldn't tell, we're not supposed to walk right into that fire right there. <laughs> it's going to be a real bad day if we do that. What I don't remember is if there's any items in here we need to worry about picking up. I don't think so. Alright, next. Um, shit. Hurry, hurry! Oh! Got caught on that one. Oh, still caught. Son of a bitch. I thought I'd have time, guys. Oh, fuck you guys. Back above me. Whew. That was intense. That's a real little gauntlet of an area right there. <laughs> Should have moved a little quicker. I just I thought I had more time. I was like, I'm gonna save a bullet. Turns out it's not worth it. But yeah, in case you haven't noticed, the force gun kind of becomes like my de facto gun once I pick it up. Only because it's so good for going around corners and keeping dudes out of your face when they get close range like that. It's like the ultimate fuck-off gun, you know? It's like, I need you to not be right next to me right now, so I need to have the force gun ready at all times. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, what do we got here, guys? What does that say? Heavenly bodies. We got some space porn, guys. Well, you know what? You're all alone out in outer space light years away from any kind of civilization. Who knows how many single women are on the ship with you? You gotta have something to pass the time. You gotta have it. So we get the node in here. This sticker right here, that white sticker with the green lines on it, they've reused that like four times in this chapter already. I keep noticing it everywhere I go. Also, it's noisy as shit in here. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. There it is again! Seriously everywhere. Alright, where's this gonna bring me out at? Look at the dynamic lighting, guys. How awesome is that? These graphics totally hold up. I was actually having a conversation with my buddy the other day, and uh, he was mentioning how, like, He'd really like to have a Dead Space remaster. And I was like, dude, I'm playing it on PC right now, and I don't think it even needs a remaster. Like, this game completely holds up in almost every way. Warning. Ten kiloton lag detected in food storage. Great. Ten kilotons. That means 10,000 tons, right? Okay. Where are you fuckers? Come at me. Come at me. There you are. Fat bitch. Come on. Come on, get close. <laughs> He's stuck right where he is. Look at him. He's like, ah, that gun's too awesome. I can't get close. You've ruined my plans with your awesome weapon. 
Buffalo. Running now. Oh, the door closed on me. Shit. Okay, here's what we need. We need a little bit of this action. Oh, yeah. I was hoping to get that one, too, but I didn't. Oh, that dude got... How did that happen? Oh. I don't know how he got broken, but he did somehow. All right, get out of here, you little bastards. Stop moving. Man. I really don't know how that happens. Maybe he was... Too close to the explosive canister? No, he's still all the way over here. That was just some good old-fashioned bullshit is what that was. Can I force these dudes? That doesn't work at all. <laughs> I never really had to try that before, honestly. Well, how about some of this then? Yeah. There's a tool for every job, guys. And I've got all of them. <laughs> so I think I've tried to mention this like eight times and I keep getting interrupted, but you can kind of hear like chattering monkeys on this level. And like it's kind of hard to tell if it's like monkeys or if it's like laughing. Like if you're imagining somebody laughing at you. Really, really creepy. Alright, so that was a nice detour. We've come back out here on the bottom level. I'm starting to think, guys, I think I actually want to go up to level 3. I'm not sure if we need to go up there for anything in particular. There might just be loot up there. I'm going to double check before we head back the way we were going. It's a bit of a trip. This is a slow elevator. <laughs> I really hope I didn't miss anything in that last little circle we just made because I don't feel like going back there. I think we got it, though. I think we got everything that we would care about. Um, hmm. Half expecting a monster over here, but... Oh, this is a Ruby Semiconductor. What is this terminal for, though? This totally looks like a thing that you could interact with, except it's, like, powered off. Which is very odd. Loot, loot, loot. Yeah, I was right. That's really the only reason to come up here is to loot that stuff. You don't have to come up here for any kind of objective purpose. Let me just see if I can spot any, like, random items hanging out in hard-to-see areas that I might be able to grab while I'm up here. Like that right there. Hey, 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 I see you. Yeah. That's 2,200 bucks right there. That somebody just level hanging out on top of that structure right there. Well, he probably doesn't need it anymore. So I'll take it for me. <laughs> What else? What else? I think we're doing good so far, guys. I think we've cleaned up everything that we've come across. And now we're heading over here. Okay, I think we've gotten... This is the actual hydroponics control room. Okay. I think we've gotten, like, three of the mutated dudes so far, and I think there's eight total. So we've still got a ways to go. Oh, I remember this shit. Make us whole again. Shut up, Nicole. Not right now. Not right now. I know exactly what's going on in this room, and I don't fucking like it. There's usually only one reason they put a whole bunch of dead bodies here, guys. That means we gotta get rid of all this shit. Everyone must die. Like, die more than they already are. 
All limbs severed. All bodies turned into fucking goulash. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, damn it! <laughs> I wasn't fast enough! I wasn't accurate enough! Fucking flying scrotum. Uh huh. Not sure what happened to that other explosive can right there. Just kind of vanished on me. I knew those dudes were gonna show up, and I was like, I'm gonna be fancy. I'm gonna blow them up with this shit. And then it turned out I was too bad to actually pull that off. Maybe it got blown up when I shot the first one. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Got through it. How much health do I have left now? I still got the large one and a medium one. I'm running out of space, though. I am running out of space quickly. Maybe I should take a jump back to the store. I don't know. I'm not sure where to go from here, honestly. I think maybe we're done with this portion. Are we going back down to floor one now? Yeah, I think so. This is probably a great time for yet another ambush. I'm ready with the force, though. Use the force, long couch. Where are you, bastards? Where are you? Nothing right now? Alright. So that's back to atmosphere control. Is that going back the way we came? Because that's where I wanted to go anyway. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Okay. That wasn't actually... <laughs> a threat. <laughs> it was just some bullshit. That's all it was. How are we going to do this? We should probably stop in the middle there. I have a node I can spend anyway, so... I don't really know what to spend it on. Honestly. I'll figure something out. Hurry, hurry, hurry! <laughs> Tricky bastards. Honestly, uh... I should probably look into another rig upgrade soon. Three nodes per HP upgrade, which is the main thing I care about in here. But I can't even get close to it yet. Well, I can get close, but I'm not going to spend more than one node. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll actually just hold on to that. We've barely done any Ripper or Force Gun upgrades. Look at all those Force Gun upgrades, guys. Honestly, I find the Force Gun is good enough for, like, my purposes that you don't really need to upgrade it. Upgrades are nice. Like, damage would probably be nice. If anything, I might just grab one of these, and then, like, maybe the capacity and damage upgrade here in the tree. But most of these are not things you need. At least not for the way that I use the force gun. So, yeah. Just kidding. I'm actually going to hold on to my node for now. Until I can get two more, and then I think I'll probably buy an HP upgrade next. Here we go. Trust nothing. Alright, so we can see here we've gotten... Yeah, this chart actually tells us there's like eight levels of air purity and we've only gotten half of them. So four more to get. But you know what? I wanted to come back to the spot anyway, so this works out really good. Okay, Ruby Semiconductor. We need to sell that. That's, a, that's basically a node right there. So, yep, let's do that. We'll sell both the stasis packs. Because who cares about those? I will store all that plasma. I'll store one line rack. 
store all them ripper blades. And one thing of force energy. Now, that actually gives me enough to buy three more nodes. Wow, that's awesome. I wasn't expecting to have that much money when I came back here, but... You know what? I'm spending all that cheese, guys. Give me all the nodes. Fuck yes. And then I'm not sure where the next upgrade station is, so... I hope you'll indulge me. I am going to take a quick trip back here, guys. Because I think it's worth my time. I don't know why they have to make this one so annoying to get to. But I guess they felt that was necessary. <laughs> awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one HP upgrade. It's a lot of nodes. It's a lot of commitments. But it's well worth it. And then I think... I think let's get, like, one damage upgrade for the Force Gun. And then, like I said, we might come down here and grab these two at some point, but that's probably going to be the only upgrades I really buy for this gun. We haven't even looked at our Stasis and Kinesis modules. You can upgrade these two. I don't really find it to be worth it, honestly. Like, Kinesis, definitely not. Stasis, maybe. Um, duration and energy... You know, duration makes it last longer, which is nice. Energy gives you more shots per charge, which is also nice. But you have to spend two nodes just to start upgrading these these stats here. And I'm just kind of like, eh. I don't know. I'd rather spend them on my guns, you know? That's just me personally. We'll see how many we have to work with as we get closer to the end of the game, I guess. And off we go. 